Hey, from downtown Brazzaville, Congo, I found another lock. This is a Capita. Came in, came in a box, but there's nothing on it. Uh, came with a whole bunch of keys. Uh, it's not really, it's, it, it's okay, it works, but let's take a look at this. Uh, there's the bidding, by the way, give you an idea what it looks like. Not a great quality lock. If you look at the front of it, I mean, get the reflection just right. It looks like they used a rough grinder to kind of flatten off the face of that core, so they, they didn't even deburr it, so it's a pretty rough lock, but capita. Well, why did I buy this? This was 8,000 scoots, and by the way, there's what their money looks like. 8,000 scoots, it's about, um, I don't know, 16 bucks, something like that. The reason I bought it is because it is a 7-pinner, and it's the only 7-pinner that I found here. Uh, so I thought, well, seven pins, it's got to be a little bit of a challenge. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. It does it does seem to work, but as I said, there's a couple of, it's kind of gritty. Uh, I suspect that despite this Germanic sounding name, Capita, or maybe even Italian, I don't know, it's probably Chinese, looks like it's stamped in there. Again, not the highest quality. Well, let's, let's see if we can get into it, just for the heck of it. Um... I'm going to use reverse to keep my hand out of your way so you can got a little bit of light there. Uh, let me see if I can find a decent pick. Had one here a second ago. There it is right in front of me. All right, I'm going to use a offset hook because from that keyway you can see there's a little there's a little slot there that all those pins hide down inside of. So I've got to be able to curve down inside of there if there are any deep set ones. So let's see if we can't make this happen. A little bit of get that in there good there we go put some tension on there I want them to bind up so I can find them easily just down the left side of the keyway and <laughs> looking for okay that was pin two and you probably saw the tension wrench move which is kind of unusual that it would move that much unless it's just crappy tolerances Okay, I'm on about pin four. I didn't count them, but he's binding, so let's... No, he's not ready yet. Keep looking. Okay, nothing. So let's start from the front again. Looking for a binder. Come on, guys. There we go, another binder. That was pin three. Looks like I'm on about pin four. And feels like pin seven. Yeah, I think I got him. Start up here in the front again. All these are springy. Pin seven again. He's really bound up. Let me get my pick placed a little better. He's going to be sliding off there. I think I got him. Let's double check everybody. Still got a couple of springy ones in there. I think I didn't quite get somebody set because they're all springy at this point. And pin seven still doesn't want to quite give it up. I'm going to release my tension a little bit. Maybe we can make something pop out. Okay, I got a little bit deeper set. So I think it was pin three. He wasn't all the way down. Okay, that was 
pin 5, or I'm sorry, pin 6. I'm on pin 7 again. And there we go, get my pick out. There we go, the Capita 7 pin. I've got to say, uh, for a 7 pin, I'm a little disappointed. No security pins in this thing. And for that kind of money, I would have probably expected something a little higher quality, a little bit more of a challenge than this Capita 7 pinner. But anyway, there you go. Money spent. It's the way it goes. You pay your money, you take your chances. So, from Brazzaville, Congo, gentlemen, thank you for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal.